Hello YouTubers, I'm back with a new video and in this one I'll be talking about passing the RTX series cards to your virtual machines. The difference between the RTX cards and all the other cards on the market when it comes to uh, virtualization is that most of them come with a built-in USB controller. So they are really composed of four devices as opposed to most other cards that are composed of only two devices. So let's look at the LSPCI output, LSPCI-V, and when we look at the graphics card, we see we have the dot zero, which is our GPU, and we already bound that to the VFIO driver with the initial script that we did in video number one, I think. Then we have the audio portion, again, bound to the VFIO driver, but we also have the device number two, which is uh, currently bound to the X XHCI driver, and then there is the serial bus controller. So these are the devices that make up the RTX 2080 Ti. One might say we could just run a, well, we could just adjust the script from uh, part one to uh, basically bind all the devices to the VFIO driver. And yes, that's one option. The problem is that the device number two generally tends to revert back to X, the XHCI driver anyway. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of a exercise in futility. So the easiest way to do it, I would say, is to just uh, adjust your initialization script for your virtual machine. How, how do we do that? Well, let's uh, invoke our uh, script that binds the uh, USB devices or any devices for that matter on the virtual machine startup. So that's VFIO uh, dash bind dot sh and we went over this script in video number two or three, I think three. So oh, we just need to take the USB controller and uh, bind it to the VFIO driver. First, we need to specify the domain, then the rest of the device, and we'll have to do the same for the serial bus controller. Okay, now that these two devices are uh, bound to the, well, one on startup, they'll be bound to the VFIO driver, we have to also attach them to the virtual machine. And to do that, same as before, VF, uh, I mean device, VFIO dash PCI, comma host equals. And uh, let's see, let's start with this one. And for the device number well, zero, the GPU itself, we have to do x dash VGA equals on slash. Okay, same for the rest of these devices. Number one, number two, and number three. And for the USB driver, we'll also do this bus equals PCI E dot zero. Okay. So now uh, that we have uh, the device specified in here, we should be able to launch the virtual machine. Okay. Okay, so uh, I will uh, switch the HDMI cable from the host to the virtual machine now. Okay, now we see our desktop of our virtual machine. So let's take a look at the device manager. So here we have our 
RTX 2080 Ti, our USB Type-C right here, and what else? As you can see, we have our QEMU hard drive, QEMU DVD drive. So yeah, it's uh, the same old virtual machine, but with an RTX 2080 Ti. Great, so in the next video, I will go over uh, creating snapshots. So I'll see you in that video.